<laughs> it went viral. That's not a very pretty song. It's, it's a way to play the chromatic scale. Yeah, this is how you can practice your And dust your piano at the same time. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And since we're not doing the duet, I mean, you get to see the live behind the scenes um, when we're doing this. Okay. All right, Ryan. It's all ready for you. And when you get up there, go ahead and. Do you, need, you want me to play one right here? I guess so. Do you want to play the duet or no? Um, I don't know if I need any duet. Okay. I think that it's, yeah. Well, when you hear that you call your name, you can play it. Okay, show me. Very informal here. This one? And you want me to do the duet on this one? You want me to do this one first? Okay. Okay, so this is Ryan Schlegelmel. Schlegelmel, thank you. And he's going to play Come, O Come Y'all Ye Faithful. And Deck the Halls. And deck the Halls. Oh, Okay, let's do this. Wait, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. Can you squeeze? No, I'm gonna be here. You're right there. Yes. You gotta pay your notes a little bit higher with the duet.
have been for a while. He's been playing. In I've been playing for like five years, mm -hmm. somewhere around there. And you're in a the ad advanced orchestra. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that amazing? What grade? Eight. Eight. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ryan. Yep. And I'm so glad you guys came by to play your songs. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Give us one minute, and we'll be right back. Just play the right song. Sure. Do I have time to get a Yeah, she's going to play a fill-in song. And, uh, <laughs> this is going to be so good of me. Let me write down the key. Okay, let's get the, We're gonna the do a little piano here. prepared. It's <laughs> a good idea. So and I'm going to... This is Greg Watkins, by the way. He's a teacher here. Hi, everybody. Glad you all can make it. Um, I'm going to do a, a jazz tune here. I'll just read a lead sheet. And uh, I think there's going to be plenty of other people playing lots of Christmas songs. So I'm just going to do a, a jazz song.
the next time slot here, or do we need to fill some more? Uh, I think we have some more minutes. minutes. Do you want to? Uh, do you have a really short one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's. Uh, what was the name of that song? Again? That song was called "My Foolish Heart." Oh. It's a, I love that song. It's a great jazz classic. Mm -hmm. And um, in fact, the one right after it, I think, is the one I'm going to do, which is "My Romance." This one's called "My Romance" by Rogers and Hart. It's a, oh. kind of a nice. Um, it's a good introductory jazz song. A lot of jazz musicians, musicians will start with a song like this because it's not too hard, but it's got some nice changes to it.
We learned it a while back and then I just revived it. Cause, yeah. yeah. chicken <laughs> and I like Glen Glenda Reservoir oh, yeah. like camping there Yeah, stay tuned, folks. Kenny and Angie are putting together the next song, and we will be with you shortly.
Announce your song and your name, and then we'll see if we want to talk some more afterwards, okay? Can't wait to hear it. <laughs> Hi, my name's Adelaide Maxson. I'm in fifth grade, and I'll be playing the Holly and the Ivy in Famous People today. I'm going to do Famous People first. The virtual part. named Aspen and she's taking a nap right now so I'm just gonna show you a picture <laughs> and she's four months old and she's adorable Yeah, this is her sister. My name is Lydia Matt. 
Maxson, and I will be playing What Carol Is This and 500 Year Old Melody. And her name is Daisy Ann. <laughs> Good job, Liz. Okay. That's it. So that's all we have. All right. Okay. So Tell them, give us a couple minutes. Uh, if, if all right. Mind. Um, we got David Clark's coming, right? Okay. okay. Can we just have a, pa uh, just a couple minutes? Bear with us. We'll be right. Okay.
All right. All right, hello, my name is David Parks. I've been taking lessons here with uh, Angie for a little over a year and a half, and I have started taking jazz lessons with Greg. Um, I've been playing off and on parts of my life, but um, really haven't gotten a whole lot into it until the last uh, year and a half or so. Um, I'm a, by occupation, I'm an engineer. Um, so this kind of meets with my engineering side of the brain, but it's also a little bit of the creative side that's kind of stretching me a bit. So today I'm going to be playing three pieces. The first piece is by um, Robert Schumann. He was a German composer. Uh, that piece is, going to, is entitled of foreign, uh, foreign Lands and People. It's part of his uh, childhood memories or childhood scenes collection, and it's supposed to invoke uh, feelings of childhood. So I'll give it to you here. So the next piece is actually uh, a prelude by Chopin, prelude in B minor. Um, it was the first piece I learned of Chopin, and I think like all pianists at some point, we get introduced to Chopin and kind of fall in love with love with some of his stuff, a lot of his stuff, because he was really a, a, a terrific piano uh, comp composer for piano and solely mostly for piano. So uh, this one's, again, prelude in B minor. First piano recital, by the way. <laughs> um, right. 
So the last one is a, a piece. When I was growing up, we went uh, to the movie theater, and I remember watching The Sting mm -hmm. in the movie theater and falling in love with Scott Joplin's music. So this piece is uh, a solace, which was in the movie Sting. Uh, just a little clip of that. So. jazz tunes out of the real book here copies from the real book pages um, and what I'm gonna do is kind of a typical jazz format and that is what you do is you play the whole you play the, the song down from the beginning to the end just one time through you go back through and improvise. You read the chord changes and then you improvise a little bit. Then you go back and you play the song one more time. So I'm going to do roughly an A B A type of uh, of format, song form. <laughs>
and go back and end up playing the head one more time. Uh, this song was made famous by Billie Holiday. She did a very good job of singing this song. It's called Yesterdays.
Penny, Sorry. Do one yeah. more? <laughs> Two more? Okay, here's one. We are, we are at 5.05 and then it says break. All right. Penny wants to jump in. Oh, okay. My, okay. Thanks a lot. We're going to have Penny come up here. Hello. This is still me. Thank you for letting us know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait. Maybe lower, lower. Don't be in the frame. Just go ahead and sit down. Yeah, there you go. Hi. It's still me, despite the ears and the mask. Um, we have a birthday tomorrow. Maya Betty's birthday is tomorrow. So we thought we would sing happy birthday to her. And we appreciate her being in the recital today. goes last okay I think it's the reverse in numbers I'll show you okay all right sorry. I'll, okay. Okay. I'll let Penny introduce her okay. hello our next student is Avery Miller and she is only four years old she actually started taking piano when she was three which is very young but her dad is a drum player and you will notice she also has a good sense of rhythm like her dad. So we're very proud of the two of them. He also studies piano, but we have a video of Avery. It's her first lesson, her first recital. Very proud of her. Okay. This one? Um, that's the last one, so go do the other one first. Do this one, so. Thank you. 
would say something after about anything else? Or just maybe say thank you? Um, I guess I could say. So we're so proud of Avery and the recording that she made. So I'm hoping that she's very happy to see herself and to know that she's made us happy with her music. Thank you. Alex Lee, it could be under, um, Tam. it could be under his parents. Just ask uh, if Alex can unmute. to join in, so hang in there tight, and we'll be right with you. Okay, I just texted him. I'll, um, do you want me to play a song? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Well, we kind of flipped him with, uh, with Avery, but he was on the flip team for just to talk about something. Okay. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. All right, honey. I'm going to play a little song. <laughs> I think I'm going to do this one. got a piano teacher, Mrs. Purse, and she had to cancel my first lesson because she had to play for a funeral. And I went home and cried my eyes out. <laughs> and uh, so then I got to take piano lessons and I was playing when we had out of town company and my parents are like, Penny, go play piano. I'm like, no, no, I won't. I can't do it. And they, they kept at it and then I started playing and I had so much fun that I played one song after the other and then I repeated the songs two or three times and they go okay Penny that's enough <laughs> <laughs> so so anyway it's always been fun to be involved in music my family was involved in music and it's just always been a nice hobby or occupation for me to have music um, I started here about 11 years ago, and I've really enjoyed my piano students. They're just very delightful and a pleasure to be around, so I really have enjoyed being here as a piano teacher. Okay. Yeah, we really liked it. Okay. Well, thank you, Penny. Is yes. that our song? Hello, Alex. 
Alexis and Anya. Yeah. Okay. Angie, well, why don't you play some of these? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, I will. Well, we heard, oh, hmm? we were, oh, sorry, we did that already. Yeah, we were. Where's the lights? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's loud. <laughs> we'll do some wiping down. Oh, I don't think Penny has any germs. All right. So I'm Angie, and I'll play a little song for you. I recognize it. And uh, while we're waiting for Alex to join us. Kentra Hill with his business here. It was, used to be Panos and Pianos. And um, he unfortunately passed away in December of 2018, um, at which point we, as the employees, decided we needed to keep this going. Um, he did have a nonprofit already started, and um, he, uh, we decided to move everything into the nonprofit. So now, Piano Pathways is a fully nonprofit organization um, and we have some students now we are subsidizing and they are taking piano lessons um, with um, one of our teachers that couldn't make it today but uh, and we also provide instruments or pianos for those who otherwise wouldn't be able to afford them or get them so um, we see our a bright future for subsidizing and helping those in need that um, could qualify for our music program. So if you have anybody in mind, please go into our website and um, give us a contact through our contact form and, and we'll get in touch out touch to them so we can help them out. Um, but thank you for watching the recital and we will have more to come. Just be patient with us. Um, with the Zoom, we're trying to keep on schedule, and there's also extra time. So hang in there. Well, Thank you so much. We're ready to start with Maya. We are? Yep, 520. Okay. So do you want to introduce her? Maya, that is. <coughs> okay, let me see here. There's a family. Well, I think Penny's going to want to watch that. One second.
Okay. Uh, next we have Maya Vere. Hopefully I'm saying that properly. And uh, looks like three sisters are right in a row here. Oli and Vivian also. So when you uh, get on, please say your name and, and announce the songs you're playing. And then if you want to tell us about your favorite thing afterwards, we'd love to hear it. Gotcha. Hi, my name is Maya Vetti. Um, I am a sixth grader at Kim Carroll Middle School. I will be playing Silent Night on the keyboard and Sword Dance and In an Old Castle on the piano. And In an Old Castle will be a duet with my older sister. My name is Ollie Betty. I'm in eighth grade and I will be playing Up on the Housetop and Beethoven's Fifth.
and I will be pairing Catch Falling Star, Oak Christmas Tree, and Deck the Halls. Okay. How do we set this up? Am I okay with this? Which side? Is it the wrong side? Yeah, they can hear it. So we're on. Um, that was Vivian Betty. I don't know if she got to introduce herself, but she's a fourth grader and she is a very lively piano student and she loves Deck the Halls. So I love the way that she plays it. Thank you so much, Vivian. Who took the schedule? Okay, um, we're going to have a little minutes. more filler music here, or what's who's on next? I, I think Alex can go next. Can Alex come? Alex on the and speaker. Do the, yes, Alex, Alex is here. Speaker. A little speech or some uh, for a speaker. <laughs> hi, Alex. Um, hi. Well, we're going to let you like fill in for us with uh, a little talk, I hear. And can you um, undo your vi audio or video, right? We need to see your video, I think. Uh, one sec. I mean, she don't want to. Hit, can you hit start video, Alex? Yeah. I just clicked it, but my Chromebook is a turtle so just um <laughs> okay uh 
There we okay. go. Okay. There you are. Cool. Now, Alex has always been an MC for us, and he's very quick on his feet. He's very clever with the things he says. So we asked him if he would speak for five minutes today and just share. He just got done with finals, and he just had a nap, but he is all ready for us. Okay, I can't wait to hear what Alex has for information today. Well, that's really awkward because I have literally nothing planned. <laughs> Do you know? Um, uh, and there's some stuff we talked about before. Okay, then. Alex, well, do you want to play? You could play first and talk later. Could you? Uh, sure, I could play. Maybe play song. play one of your songs, okay? One? Well, uh, I'll just play like Sonatine or something. My brain is jelly. I just totally forgot my song. Um, no worries, it's very casual. We're very okay. casual, Alex, or do another one. What song appeals to you to start with? Polonaise? Well, I mean, I, my brain is jelly, so I can just uh, move this a little bit over. Mm -hmm. this here. Oh, we don't have great students. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Well, um, this is even more awkward because I didn't think of anything to say throughout the entire song. No, no. <laughs> Tell us his name. But grade. Alex, what's your name and grade? Tell us about you. Oh, well, uh, I'm Alex. I'm in eighth grade and I go to Devlin. Man, this is turning into an interview. I still don't have anything to say. How long have you been playing? How long have you played piano, Alex? I've played since I was um, six, so I've played for like eight years now. I forgot when I started, but probably close to eight years. Great. Great. And what do you like to do, Alex, besides play piano? Oh boy, this is an interview now. Oh, oh. <laughs> Maybe on <laughs> um, You're doing great. I play games with my friends and family, board games and video games alike. Um, I also do uh, solve Rubik's cubes because Asians. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, math because Asians as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And as you can see, the house is a mess. So that's not Asian, but, um, <laughs> you know, I'm not really Asian. I'm born in America, so. There you go. <laughs> now, is your piano, uh, is it, it's right there, obviously. Uh, is it acoustic, right? Yeah, it's acoustic. It's an upright. 
Okay. Yeah, we just can't see it in the screen. But uh, it's oh. great. You must keep... Let me give you a house tour. Oh my Here God. we go. <laughs> Welcome to my house. That's starting with nice. my piano. <laughs> Don't mind th that. That's just, um, that's just a wall so that I don't see when my dad does stuff. Okay. It's very artistic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a Christmas tree. Usually it would go here, but, um, yeah. That's a lovely piano you have. Thanks. I'll just keep it tuned up. Want to, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to re reveal my entire house because my, uh, 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 I totally lost what I was going to say. That's okay. What did you like about past recitals versus this recital with the virtual? Well, this one, I got to stay in my PJs. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm fine with that. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to have a PJ recital down the road. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, my PJs are my normal clothes, so that's really awkward. <laughs> okay. Um, so you used to announce for us when we had the stage, and that was really nice when you did that. And you I did. Yeah, you read off everybody's name and what they were playing. And what was the name of the song? My scripts. It's just I took a program one time, and then Penny asked, "Do you have a program?" And then I said, "What's a program?" And then Penny started spelling program, and I was, "Oh, that's a program." <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I have a program. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Alex is very sharp, but he just has a couple moments there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. A couple moments, right? Yeah, that's not my brightest day. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. What time is it? All right. Should he play one more song? No, he'll be done. How many? He's coming. He has three more. Songs. You have three songs. Okay. Can you hear? I played one already. Uh, or oh, yeah. can you make it so we can see your your hands in the keys, Alex? Uh oh, stinky poopy. I don't have a table. Uh, give me, give me a table. <laughs> Clear that off the table. If you can, Lawrence, you got the table. Um, is that oh, good? Yeah, that's good, Alex. Okay. How many songs should we play? Just one more. I think yeah. I can do one later. Oh, one, no. more, one more for now. One more song now, okay. Alex, okay? One more song. Yeah. Second movement of Sonatina. That totally doesn't count as a song. Okay. <laughs> My brain is still jelly and I um did weird things. It sounded good, Alex. 
Yeah, it sounded I'll very just good. Say it's good enough because, well, then again, I'm Asian, so <laughs> nothing's really good enough. Somehow we get to have to. Well, my daughter is Asian too. <laughs> my daughter's from China, so we we go through this <laughs> these standards. Yes. So Alex, that was great. Should he do one more or no? Oh, we are on time. We've got 10 more minutes and then we're on it. Alex, do you want to do polonaise? Do one more. Polonaise? Uh, yeah, hold on. Pardon standby technical. Okay, you're just getting warmed up, right? Thank you, Alex. Looks so relaxed. Looks super relaxed. Yeah. It's yeah. a good, good technique to be relaxed. Can I like turn off my stuff? Turn off what? Yeah, but do you want to watch the rest of the recital? Yeah, I'm gonna stay on. You can turn I off the camera if you want to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But thank you so much for thank sharing, you, Alex. Alex. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. All right. So we'll tell you. He just, just woke up from his puppy. So I think let's see, we have, have Natasha that. at 5:50. She goes in uh, four minutes. Oh, in four minutes. Five, do it. Yeah. So she might walk in the door. I don't know. Here, play something. <clears throat> Why don't you play something? I should have learned from the wet. Or How much time do you need to fill? Well, do you have another one? Oh yeah, we've done some other ones. So we don't know how much. Any of those I can do. Now. Yeah, maybe we should do this one. We wish you a merry Christmas. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry. You want to be lower or upper? Upper. Okay. I mean, I think that's the way we practiced it. That's fine. I'll get the other bench. 
teachers here. We appreciate you. Yes, we do. take a small break for everyone here but please keep your zoom going and we'll be back in about five ten minutes so if you need to get up and stretch your legs this is the time to do it
Okay. All right. All right. Thanks for st staying with us. And we were just thinking of what we could talk about while we're um, waiting for another student to come in. So I want to share my recital experiences with you. I've been taking lessons since I was like eight years old and just took to it. I would be playing the piano when everybody else is downstairs watching TV. And my mom can attest to this. And um, just really took to it. However, my teacher would make us do recitals, which was very formal recital, um, getting up on a stage in front of a big audience. At the time, I thought it was huge. And it was very scary for me, uh, as some might be. Um, I just remember one time hiding in the bathroom when we had to go to a recital and I hid inside the uh, shower curtain and my mom couldn't find me for a while. <laughs> so, um, but don't get any ideas. So, uh, <laughs> that was a good hiding place. But, you know, I, I, we went and I was um, one of the last students to play because my teacher went from beginners to advanced. Uh, but I, she did a duet with me, and then we, I did a solo, and it was all over, and I was like, wow, that was not so bad. Got through it. <laughs> <laughs> so we all have those jitters from playing in recitals, and the more you do it, the more it, it goes away, and you just have fun with it, and breathe, and relax. So that is my experience and my advice. Do you... Other teachers have anything to share on a recital performance? Or if you want to put in your comments, possibly, we could talk about um, any recital jitters. Yeah, if anybody wants to share how they feel in their first recital on a stage, um, we'd love to hear about it. And then we'll be showing also a video shortly. All right, I'm just going to share. Okay, I'm going to share a video that we put together just about the Piano Pathways um, nonprofit and take a look at this um, little video we did. Can I do this? Let me do a quick right there. That's all? Mm -hmm. Okay.
extra startled now. This no, is the second one startled now. All right. <laughs> now you're ready to start. All right. All right. David's going to do a song for us. Um, we'll in between here. Let's get your French back. Oh, did you write the key? No.
Okay. Thank you. It looks like we need to kill some more time here. I'll just keep going through the book here. Maybe I should use a... Uh, song for us. Natasha, are you ready, Natasha? Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and get some Okay, we'll wipe off the piano. Mm -hmm. Hi, Greg. Hi there. How are you? Good. We all like This kind of breaks up the ear. <laughs> A little bit of dissonance between the, <laughs> the soul songs. 
You know, it's like smelling coffee beans in between <laughs> candles and stuff. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I think we're good. So we're ready. I may just ask you a few questions. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so this is Natasha. So how long have you been playing, Natasha? About a year now? Yeah. Okay, great. And what are you going to play for us today? Um, Minuet and G. Okay. All right. Go for it. Can I move the, um, the chair a little closer? I'm sorry, what? Can I move the chair a little closer? Yes, you can. You can okay, you. make it as comfortable as you want. Yep. <laughs> Thank you very much, Natasha. Thank you. Good job. Great. Yeah. All right. Hmm? <laughs> well, we have a few more minutes. We have, I think, one other student who's going to show up. Um, she's not online yet, right? So uh, we can play, I guess, another. You guys getting tired of jazz? Who's getting tired of jazz here? <laughs> Can we sit down and enjoy a little bit or no? Absolutely. It's over there. Can you bring the wiper? You're going to what? Are you guys going to play a duet? Can we do the turn? Absolutely. Turn the bells again. Okay. And then, unless you want to do something else, you can. Oh, you have the active so it's good. <laughs>
Sure. Yeah. 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 So we're filling out a little bit more until uh, one of the last performers shows up. And what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to play a little bit of blues. That's a different style. I don't think we've heard any blues tonight yet. So uh, blues is uh, an interesting style. On my left hand, I'm going to be doing what's called kind of a typical uh, blues uh, bass line. And you'll notice the blues is a typical, what they call a 12-bar blues. So it only has three chords in it. It's got a one chord, a four chord, and a five chord. And then on the right hand, I'll just play some typical kind of blues, either harmonies or sort of fills or blues licks. A lot of the blues licks are based on what they call the pentatonic scale. It's kind of a fun scale because you can, it only has five notes. With those five notes, you can really do a lot of interesting things. So this is just an example of a typical standard 12-bar blues.
you going to be online here. How much more time do we have? You're at 6.38, so. 6.38, nobody's online there? <clears throat> We've got a few people, but it's, not anybody that's on the list here. Uh, Romina's not online. Hopefully she's not having trouble getting into. Yeah. Do they have to? Um, uh, we have Alex. Alex has one more time. Does he? Yeah. He can okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, he can. So he has on. one phone. Is he? Oh, is he's he on. ready? He's on. Is he on? He's still on. All yes. right. Should we have Alex go? Alex, you ready? Is he answering? He didn't fall asleep there, did he? He's there. He's there? Yep. Okay. And ask him if he can show us the piano. He needs to get his video on. We want to see more than just the name Alex. We actually want to see your face if possible. And the piano. But his, um, so. his Chromebook is like a tortoise. There it is. Okay. Yay. All right. There, there it is. So, Alex, before you play your song, tell us what it is and tell us the image you have when you're going to play it. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm playing Prelude. And I'm not putting a baby to sleep. I'm making them cry. No, the last part isn't true. I'm making them go to sleep, but yeah. Oops, sorry. Who wrote it? Um, Bach did. Yay. Go for it, Alex. Hold on. Oh, can we see his uh, uh, panel? Oh, there he goes. Yep.
great. Well done. Thank you. Good job. Uh, bad things happened. You kept going. That's what killed yep. us. You okay, kept going. Up. Thanks, right, Alex. There. Thank you, Alex. Okay, great. Thanks a lot, Alex. So now we have uh, Romina. Uh, so let's see if we can get hook her up there. She, uh, her uh, view is up. So Romina, when you first start, um, tell us, tell us your name, tell us the piece that you're going to play, and maybe tell us uh, how long you've been playing piano, as an introduction. Okay. Okay, so my name is Romina, and um, I'm playing the song Spanish Guitars, and I've been playing piano for about like three years now, two, three years now. Great. Yeah. So should I start playing? Yes, go ahead, start, Romina. Okay. <laughs> That's excellent, Romina. Thank you. Is that, is that it? You just had one piece for us, or do you have more? Uh, I just have one piece. You should have one more. Do you, okay. you want to do another song of one piece? No, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's wonderful, Romina. Thank you very much. We appreciate your sharing. And uh, are we going to kind of close the whole thing? or? Yeah, this this is basically yeah. We've closer. been going for almost three hours now. I think we had a number of different performers. I want to thank everybody who uh, participated in this event. Piano Pathways, our our winter uh, recital. We're planning on having another recital in the spring. Did you want to say a few things, or we just? Um, this is it. We really appreciate you watching throughout and performing for the students. So. Um, okay. I hope you all enjoyed it, and we hope to get better at everything we do for the, the spring recital. This has been a great experience, and having the audience helps out a lot. Yeah, look forward to that. <laughs> um, thanks for taking us on a musical adventure. All right. And <laughs> I don't have pajamas on, but I felt very relaxed watching everybody play, yeah. and um, Thank you so much for um, staying on as students with us and mm -hmm. sharing your talents with us tonight. Yeah. Okay, great. All right. Hey, everybody have a Merry Christmas. Merry and Christmas. Happy holidays. Yep. Bye bye, everybody. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Bye.